In this video I will give you the two words Abraham Hicks told us in May this year in Amsterdam in person through Esther Hicks, of course, that just simplified everything, summarized all their teachings. And those are the only two words that I keep reminding myself of when I get lost, when I lose focus or hope, or when I just need to get back to the path of manifesting the life I want. But before we go any deeper, please give me a like so others can find this video too, and please consider subscribing to my channel if this is the kind of content you are after. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Kinga. I started making YouTube videos right after my divorce to document for myself and my closest friends how I am reinventing myself and my whole life. But this whole post-divorce journey took an unexpected turn. And thanks to the meditations I started publishing on my YouTube channel, and thanks to you people and your beautiful comments and feedback and your wish to purchase the meditations from me, I was led to a different path. And this whole YouTubing brought me a new purpose, a new adventure. Go check out my website if you want to know what I'm talking about, kingokramer.com. I will also link it in the description section of this video. So I booked my ticket in 2019 to see Esther Hicks in Amsterdam in May 2020, but the date got postponed like many times because of COVID and then finally took place in May 2022. And here's another video of me telling what it was like being there. I will also link the whole video in the description section. The atmosphere in the building was just so inviting and heartwarming and, and loving and energizing. I, I'd love to go every weekend. The Abraham Hicks workshops are not scripted. Basically, some members of the audience uh, get called out to sit in the so-called hot seat on stage where they can ask questions. And Abraham gives long but beautiful and meaningful answers to each of them. And this is how the workshops are. If you are like me and you listen to tons of Abraham Hicks YouTube videos, these workshop recordings, you feel like you already know the answers to most of these questions, but Hearing them again and again always brings some new info, new light and new understanding. And basically their teachings have been the same throughout all the 30 plus something years, but it has been worded differently with time to help us understand it better. Basically it's all about you create your own reality and that the purpose of life is joy. Abraham said during this Amsterdam workshop that no matter how many questions we ask, how many people get chosen to the hot seat, it's always going to be the same answer. There's only one answer. There's no new teaching. But they said they were going to give us a new simplified phrase to summarize it all. So, so they said it like they've never said it before. Focus emotionally. I wrote it down for myself and whenever I need an Abraham Hicks advisor teaching or quote to listen to, I just repeat it in my head. It's so simple yet so powerful. Focus emotionally. It basically means that wishing for something is not enough. Find it, say it, write it down or visualize it or whatever works for you. But don't forget to back it up with emotions. Get into the feeling state of feeling like you are already living that dream, like if your desire has already manifested. You don't like a situation? Define what your goal is, how you want to feel instead, what the outcome is that you desire, and work yourself emotionally into feeling that way already. Basically, fake it till you make it. I know it can be incredibly difficult when you're angry or depressed or feeling any kind of intense negative emotions and you want to get from there to feeling calm and happy and peaceful. But I believe it comes with practice. It's actually possible. And this is where my favorite Abraham teaching comes to my mind, which is, my emotions are my responsibility. It's my favorite because it took me quite a long while to understand it, and once I did, it freed me from feeling like a victim to my occasional symptoms of depression and CPTSD, and it helped me get out of them relatively quick. It also helped me free all the people who I used to blame for making me feel and react a certain way. Now this is the hardest, I believe, you know, to stay conscious when someone says or does something that makes you feel a certain negative way, but instead of getting mad at them or, or hating them or resenting them, just, just try to take full responsibility and ownership of your feelings. And if you do that, and you are not thinking that you're a victim, you can actually change how you feel. Of course, that certain thing the person said or did, you know, triggered you, 
but how you respond is up to you. And by responding, I don't only mean what you do or say in response, I mean how you let yourself feel and what vibrations you are generating in and around you. Try to look at it like it's not their fault how you are feeling right now. They are actually helping you discover a part of you that needs healing or love or more attention. If you change the narrative, for example, you tell yourself that they didn't say or do that because they want to harm you or because they have no love or respect for you, but maybe they did that thing because they are hurt themselves or frustrated and this is their way of asking for help. And maybe what they did or said had no evil intentions. They meant it with love. It's you who is giving it the wrong narrative. You may be seeing or projecting negative intentions into them. But what if that was not their goal? Maybe it makes you feel a certain kind of way because it touches a part of you that needs more attention and love from you. Maybe you can even feel grateful, you know, for them to bring out something in you that needs more healing. What thoughts you give to certain actions or words influences how you feel about it and how you feel determines what reality you can create for yourself. Even Dr. Joe Dispenza, my other favorite, says that thoughts are the electrical charge in the quantum field and feelings are the magnetic charge in the quantum field. And how you think and how you feel broadcasts an electromagnetic signature that influences every single atom in your life. And a thought sends out a signal and the feeling is the magnetic field that draws the event back to you. So focus emotionally. If you want to attract something, or someone, or if you want to create a certain outcome, or if you just simply want to live the purpose of your life, which is joy, focus emotionally. We don't have to have these grand plans, you know, like saving the world or creating a legacy. We should just love living and enjoy being here. And the rest will follow. The side effect of you emitting love and happiness will be a change of vibration in you, and around you, and that changes the word, and it creates legacy. Just focus on how you're feeling, like feel joy, gratitude, appreciation for what you have right now, even if it's not your destination or not the end goal. Let the universe know that you appreciate what you have, and you deserve to receive more because you are thankful for what is, and yes, you are also eager for more, but you are also the kind of person who appreciates and don't we like giving more to those who appreciate, who feel grateful and happy? I personally love flooding those kind of people with more and more love and gifts and surprises who show that it made them happy. But if I get zero positive reaction from someone to something lovely I made for them, then I will likely not make the effort again to flood them with uh, more of those, right? Oh, and stop resenting, feeling sorry for yourself, and stop feeling hopeless. We can be so good at it sometimes. Feel blessed, loved, and taken care of instead. But Kinga, how can I feel blessed, loved, and taken care of when I'm struggling, when I feel lonely, when I'm in pain? Well, our current reality is a result of our previous thoughts and feelings. Just look around you. What you have around you and inside you is the manifestation of how you felt previously, what you thought you deserved. Don't like it? Change it. Change how you feel. How? Well, I normally do that with just sitting down to meditate with the intention of changing my vibration. Sometimes I just listen to some sound healing meditation where, you know, there's no talking. It's just, it just sound. Like my recent favorite, the, the chakra sound therapy with crystal singing bowls that I created and recently published for you guys on my YouTube. It's available on my channel for free, so if you want it, you can just go to the description section and I will link it there. But sometimes I want guided meditation to listen to, you know, and, and my other favorite is the self-love meditation that I created. Now that you can download for a small fee, and that supports me in creating more meditations like these. So check them out, links in the description. I 
actually did that, you know, I got myself into feeling loved, blessed and taken care of when I quit one of my jobs this past Friday because I felt that it was destroying my soul, it was taking all my time, it was holding me down, it was suffocating me and I felt like I cannot manifest the life I want from this vibrational feeling kind of state, you know. And I also knew that I was kind of unable to change my, my feelings while having that particular job so I felt that my only solution was to just completely let that shit go and then tune into the feeling that I want and then just let the things that I want come to me. So I did the self-love meditation to feel better and then I also did the abundance meditation which I can also link in the description um, to feel that I deserve abundance flowing to me and, and, and I'm worthy of it and and it's possible and it is flowing to me, I just need to let it in. So I did all of these meditations the next day after quitting and I really made sure that I felt loved, blessed and taken care of. And you know, I could have just had all these negative thoughts about was this a good move? How will I make up for half of my monthly salary that I just so easily gave up on? And I said to myself, stop, I'm gonna surrender, trust the universe, trust that I'm loved, blessed and taken care of and I'm going to appreciate everything that I already have, especially the more free time and the possibility to focus more on myself and the things that I love doing. And all of a sudden, money started flowing in. But this will be a topic of another video, guys, because I already talk too much. All I just wanted to tell you is focus emotionally. If you like this video, please give it a like so others can find it too. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to hear similar content. Also check out my website if you want to see what I'm making, kingokramer.com. And all the other links that I mentioned throughout the video will be down in the description. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.